Her small business survived the COVID pan, uh, excuse me, pandemic. It is now actually looking to expand. As we continue celebrating Women's History Month, Scott McCain introduces us to a woman who's one of more than 89,000 Utah female business owners. Good morning, Scott. Yeah, good morning, guys. And even though she may be Brazilian by birth, Vanessa Williams says she's feeling pretty lucky on the St. Patrick's Day because of what you had mentioned earlier. And even though she is the CEO, accountant, promotions director, and sole employee of her retro barbers, she says being her own boss makes it all worthwhile. It started with a dream while working for a national haircutting chain. Any barber, I think, will always want to have their own place. That dream gaining steam when the pandemic shut down just about everything, taking away her regular clients. And then once COVID hit, I didn't really have any contact with them and it was really hard to just go sit on them and I was always wondering what happened to them. That solidified Vanessa's decision to go out on her own. Her leap of faith wound up here at this old church in downtown Salt Lake City. I really like the feel. Uh, it's more like a a lounge place. At the time it was completely closed, didn't have a coffee shop. It was, it was pretty much just me in <laughs> this entire floor and uh, it just felt right. Not long after that, Retro Barbers was born, giving Vanessa the chance to add her own personal touch to the salon experience. Yeah, this is my spot, I dress how I want it. She chooses the decor, the music, and her own personal fashion. The reason I liked being a barber is because I'm providing that service to my clients and make them feel good about themselves. Not only just her haircut, I wanted them to feel like this is their spot that they can feel comfortable and that they can feel better about themselves. An immigrant from Brazil who moved here as a child, Vanessa spoke only Portuguese upon arriving in Utah, but she learned English and adapted. Vanessa says those early experiences make her truly appreciate the good reviews and return customers. And uh, they look forward for their next haircut. And I, I, that's what I wanted. And that is my, felt like, oh, this is my dream come true. Yeah, sometimes dreams do come true, guys. And Vanessa says, uh, you know, it's been a, a whirlwind, but uh, a lot of work going into it, but right now things are going so well, she's hoping to add at least one employee, maybe two, before the end of the year. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.